so hello everybody welcome to a, a tutorial for understanding and using the MMO extension so the first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go into the extension tab right here press Gandhi drop down and then you go to this extension right here and you install it um, I uh, would really like it if they added the ability to just click here and then click install and also clicking on this uh, little drop down not the install button should lead to the same page now back in the code the first block we're gonna use is the join or create broadcast with server ID server ID and extra data data And just use a join or create is really the easiest one and now lobby match room and broadcast are practically the same thing except a, a lobby contains match rooms so if you have if you're in a lobby you can see the current match rooms that are linked to that lobby now Yes, and you can also use the broadcast message with content hello when you use a broadcast. Anyways, the server ID can be whatever you want. I'll just put mine to MMO. And the extra data, you can just leave this blank. Um, you can use the extra data to store ver variables and things using the JSON extension. And just figure it out for yourself, okay? We're gonna start off the script by doing a when green flag clicked when you have joined the server we can use the uh, when I connect to a room hat lock and so basically after this we're gonna use a forever block forever block and in this forever block we're gonna have a few things so first off we're gonna start with a message and we'll call it move under the move message will be the player movement and you'll get why it's a broadcast thingy later but um, it's it is really useful so I will Also, this character is flipped just so you know just do that and it works it's it doesn't point 90 degrees anyways you can see now we have some nice player movement uh, it's not the best but it will work for now um, so you can adapt it to whatever you want later on now in this loop this is this loop is only ran by the f by the main sprite so no clones will run this loop and for because of this we can put the set x and y and set direction blocks in here i'm going to let you guess which variables go in which slot here that's right it's the x position the y position and the direction now for the actual um, MMO aspect of the MMO extension so we're gonna create a block and we're gonna call it create MMO clones we'll make it run without screen refresh because that's kind of important anyways so we'll do a, we'll do a repeat we'll do the online players online players will work even if you're in a lobby or if you're in a match room because it just takes the amount of players that are currently online in the type of no matter what server you have start by creating a variable we'll name it i or i 
I like to have lowercase for this sprite only and uppercase for all sprites. So what we'll do is this right here. If the sprite we are, if the like the player we are trying to create a clone for does not have the same session ID as I do, then we can proceed with creating the clone. Now, um, we need a few more blocks, a few more custom blocks, um, no, a few more things to create the MMO engine, but this is not the basics because I forgot about the clone moving yeah so as you can see here we in the move block that we we have no nowhere where the clones are going to their X and Y and direction uh, so we're gonna do this in the uh, broadcast because this is why I told you to make it a broadcast earlier and not a custom block we'll do uh, if uh, not if we're gonna do if is a clone and then we're gonna move this down because this is code for the for the sprite the original sprite missing you know where these go and that's really it except for a few like uh, finishing touches since we need to see new players that join we'll create when and we'll use the block when a new player connected and we'll use this same statement from earlier if not <laughs> equals to now we'll uh, remove the session ID from I of players since we are not using the I variable here but instead we are using the session ID now this will create a clone since I think this operation is called also when I enter the game so we will not cr be creating a clone of myself again now we'll do if the session ID of this clone equals to the session ID that is connected then we'll delete this clone and I think that's all uh, if I start this up we should not see any extra clones emerging nope and so I should be able to publish this I'll do it like this okay and then I'm going to make this a mini window. I will boop, bop, boom, bow. So we're starting by running it on this screen. Oh, that looks weird. But as you can see, we are just chilling on this screen. Now, if you have followed the steps correctly, this, when you join the game, on when you join the game on this screen you go like this and yes as you can see we now have a simple MMO engine um, as you can see both players can see the other player moving around um, yes this is really the simplest version you can do well, yeah, so that's it for the programming. Um, I am now going to tell you how to get these values into a list. I didn't know it was this difficult to, to get some values into a list. 
now let's see here this should be the play testing and this one should just be like a the, the, the random thing yes now go up down right left yes so as you can see it works perfectly fine and also suck my balls and thank you for watching <laughs>